Hi, this is Shay with ShayNJordan.com and I'm going to show you how to create a conversion tracking pixel for your website, um, for your free offer or your opt-in, whatever you need it for. What you'll want to do when you log into um, the Facebook Ads Manager is you'll want to come to Manage Ads, make sure you're on the right account. Um, if I were to click this down, it'd show you a bunch of my other clients' accounts in my account. And so you'll be you'd be able to choose the account that you want. Most of the time, it's just your account um, if it's your business. So you should be good to go. What you'll want to do is you'll want to look up here um, in the upper left hand corner and you'll see tools and then it'll say pixels. So you'll want to click on the pixels. Um, the custom audience pixel is if you have a website and you want to potentially target the people that are on your website, you're able to create a custom audience pixel. And then when you create a Facebook ad, you're able to target those people. But we'll talk about that a different day. Conversion tracking pixels is what you'll want to click on. And you'll need to, um, if you don't have any, obviously you probably don't since you're here learning this, you'll want to click create pixel and then um, they've updated their terms of service. I've already read them. I would suggest reading them so you understand what needs to be on your website when you are using conversion tracking pixels and custom audience pixels. Whew, say that three times fast. <laughs> um, so now that you're on the create pixel page, you'll want to select what type of pixel you want. Um, because we are doing, and I'm going to have a couple different ones for Richard because we're going to do a couple different things. So the first one we're going to do is registrations. We want to know how many people are registering for his freebie, how many people are, um, how many people are signing up for it. And, um, you could use leads too. They're basically the same thing. I like registrations more, um, but it just, it, it'll capture people who sign up through the Facebook ad um, and they go through the process and then this pixel will go on your thank you page. So once they enter in their email, um, the next page will be their thank you page. And so this is where this pixel will go. And so I'm just going to rename this. And then I always put the date so I know when this was created. Um, so then you know when it was created too. And so I'm going to create that pixel. Now we also, um, I'll come back to get the code. When they do this, this is where the code will be. And so if you have somebody that is your, um, web developer, web designer, and they know how to put the pixel on, you'll want to click email the pixel. You'll put this, you can add a personal message at their email, personal message, and you're able to send that. Um, I know how to do it, so I would have clicked view pixel code. I would have copy and pasted the pixel code, and that goes in the header of the thank you page. If you're using something like lead pages, they already have that set up for you. If you're using something like ClickFunnel, they have it for you too. Um, if you're using WordPress, they have that for you as well. I use something called the header and footer WordPress plugin. And I put that on the page that I'm using as my thank you page if I'm not using um, lead pages. So now I need to create another tracking pixel. Now I need to create another conversion pixel. Um, so let me come back here. And so now it'll take a little while for the new one to show up. You saw that it was already in here, but um, I'll need to refresh. So now I'll need to create a second pixel and this is the checkout pixel. So when people sign up for Richard's um, paid program, paid product, this is going to go on the thank you page that happens right after they pay and um, they make their payment. So then it redirects them to either their download page to download it or um, the login page where, they, where it explains where the logins are. This is the page that's immediately after they buy something. So I'm going to put, um, okay, 
And so now we have this as well. And so this, again, this would go on the header of the thank you page right after they have purchased their product. Um, if you have any questions, please post them below. Thanks so much and have a great day.